Look at that. Rowan and Mark have done an amazing job today. Obviously, there's still guttering to go on and glass in the window and to finish off down here. But in all intents and purposes, this side is done. And this is the other wall that needs doing. This is on another neighbour's boundary. So hopefully we'll be able to start doing that tomorrow. This wall is a boundary of another neighbour's. So exactly the same as we had to do before. That's a waterproof membrane that needs to go on, then wooden battening and then the cladding. And I've just been called in from the garden to help Mark, so um, I better put down my phone and crack on. It's Bank Holiday Monday, and hopefully by the end of today, this wall will be totally clad. I'll keep you updated. I've mostly been helping Mark with the cladding this weekend, but when I've had an opportunity, I've popped into my little garden and had a tidy up here. So I've replenished my pond. I've bought some fresh plants from the car boot yesterday and just been having a general tidy up weeding. I've planted this bathtub here, created another little galvanised bathtub pond and I remembered that I had this little solar fountain that I bought last year. I'll put a link in my description just in case anybody fancies getting one. It's such a silly little thing but it brings me so much pleasure with that lovely little noise. So I feel that I'm now ready to entertain. I want to get some more plants just to pop in my galvanised container so they look as pretty as these lupins. But all in all I think I'm ready to entertain. <laughs> I'll also quickly whiz around my front garden, which as you know is work in progress. So I planted three tomato plants in these buckets. These were just picked up on my local village Facebook page. The herbs are looking really, really well. This is something that I picked up at the car boot yesterday from one of the vintage dealers. So I'm very happy with that been planting sweet peas in the basket and also that so oh I must take the price tag off there so when they climb up there and flower they'll look great just planted some cosmos in that massive bucket so it's all looking quite pretty considering this is a work in progress area so that's it for today We've reached the natural finishing point because we've actually run out of boards, so we'll need to get some more boards. So we're, I think we're about halfway there, so not bad at all. It's Tuesday, it's half term, so I'm entertaining Rowan. And it's just such a horrible grey and wet day today, so um, we're just heading off to do a bit of charity shopping, trying to find some more PlayStation games. I can't believe we're almost in June and I'm still lighting my log burner. It's Wednesday morning and I've just come out and noticed that we've had another delivery of planks. So now we'll be able to get on at the weekend and finish off the cladding of the neighbour's boundary wall. Even though it's half term, I actually have a morning to myself, which is brilliant. So I'm taking the opportunity to take some stock photographs to put on my website. And Mark and Imogen are both at work and Rowan has gone on a play date with a friend. So I'm working quickly to get as much done as possible. Maple has decided she doesn't want to go outside today. It's just too cold and horrible out there. So she's curled up behind me when she's inside she's never that far away. Rowan has come back from meeting up with her friend this morning and now we're heading out on another Norfolk adventure. We're not sure where we're going but it's bound to end with a cafe stop but it's just so lovely to be out in the Norfolk countryside even though it's a bit grey and cold today. I've gone back to my winter clothes but uh, it's just lovely to be out and about. We ended up in Holt, which is a lovely little Norfolk town, and as predicted, we have ended up in a cafe. 
Rowan's happy because she managed to pick up a new dog toy for Maple. And I'm happy because I finally get to sit down and enjoy a lovely loose leaf tea. I've just had a special delivery which I'm super excited about. I've treated myself to a new garden strimmer which may not sound very exciting but the other one that we have is so heavy I just can't lift it. So I've opted for a Makita because we have lots of Makita tools and therefore I can use the power pack from the other Makita tools. This is going to make so much difference to my gardening routine. I just cannot tell you how happy I am. Strewing will have to wait though because I'm at my local antique market and I have to say, although there's lots of beautiful things, I'm just not feeling tempted this week. Maybe I've reached the point where my kitchen cupboard is full and I just cannot buy any more china. Hmm, let me see. Maybe not. I'm so tempted by this little blue and white jug by Burley, but I just cannot buy any more jugs, can I? Heading home now with an empty basket, but I did pick up something exciting for my garden. It will be perfect for my leftover sweet peas. I've just come down to my allotment to look at my cutting flowers and they are looking so pretty. My vases are going to look beautiful and so full. It's Friday afternoon and I'm just popping out to a friend's for a cuppa armed with flowers from my allotment and also I'm not sure whether she'll have green tea so I'm taking my own loose leaf with me in this little strainer. Oh I love this, I'm just delivering some flowers from my allotment for my friend and she has with me a parcel too so that's a fantastic trade. I've just come back from a lovely chat with a friend and also dropping some flowers off for another friend and now it's time to sit down and do my weekly vintage haul video. I've made myself a cup of tea, lit candles but I really wanted to show you the flowers that I picked on my allotment. I'm so thrilled with them, they're everywhere. So all the flowers in here are from my allotment another one in the window and also one more here they just look so beautiful I've got so many more on my allotment too that I'm thinking about going down and collecting some and putting a little honesty bucket outside it's Saturday and I've just come to have a little wander around my garden before we crack on with more DIY so hopefully today we'll finish the cladding off on the neighbour's side of the property and then that will be such a relief because it just seems to be going on and on and on but anyway it's a beautiful day here in Norfolk and I need to put on my scruffs and get going. 